welcome to a new episode of the Dragon's Lair. I know last week, or a week before last, that I said it was going to be last week that I was going to do videos, but nothing showed up, and I'm still waiting for a couple of other boxes, but today I got my BAM Horror Box. BAM is a monthly subscription box, and they have multiple different styles. This one's horror. They have a geek a general geek, they have a sci-fi, they have multiple different movie ones, um, they have a comic book one. Um, like I said, this one's horror. Um, how, how they describe it is Bambox is a comic book convention that's shipped to your home. Um, so it just came. I haven't even had a chance to open it yet. So, so I wanted to um, do this one. I'm hoping that other ones will show up tomorrow or next week. So, the beginning of the month. So, yeah. So let's get going. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought there. I will put a link down below of their website. So, and I'll also put a link to my website, my hobby page, because there's also a link to them on there too. So, so that's basically what it looks like when it's shipped. And there are different size boxes depending on what you get. And there's usually pins, um, props, sometimes props, autograph photos, or autographed items, period. So the first one is from the, I think it's an a, AMC, a, AMC, or one of the streaming channels shows. I've only ever seen one episode, but Nosferatu license plate. Which is cool, because I'll add it to my license plate collection. I have a small handful of TV and movie license plates. So, Nosferatu is cool. It's a unique story, unique way of telling vampire stories. So, and I think this one was 30 bucks. Yeah, this is the little thing, but this is for January 2023, which came late. They're a little bit behind in shipping. Okay, the next thing is, is the Bam Bo Bambox exclusive lapel pin, and it's a uh, pinhead. Let me open it so you can see it better. Usually you get more than just a couple of items. This one, I don't understand. Because in my old boxes, you used to get like five to eight items. But there is Pinhead. I'm trying to figure out if it's... Yeah. Okay, so, so uh, a Freddy Krueger art print, which is usually autographed, but I don't. I don't see that it's autographed anywhere, but it is 2,254 or 2,400, so it is in the middle, or closer to the end. But it's an art print of Freddy Krueger, which is cool. Freddy Krueger is one of my favorite horror slashers. And added to my um, collection. Okay, I don't see the... 
they're authentic autographs, but they usually come with a little bit of a little certificate of authenticity. Oh, okay. This one's from Beckett, so theirs is the barcode and stuff. But it's pull it out so it's easier to see. But it's Linda Blair's autograph, which is cool. This is my second Linda Blair autograph. And I think it's I think it's really cool that I got Linda Blair's autograph again. I'm fine with having more than one of her autographs. The Exorcism is one of my favorite classic horror movies. So that's and that's it for this month, or for January. You were able to get one of three different pinhead pens. So, and one of multiple Linda Blair, um, Linda Blair autographs. So you were able to get like one in a pop, multiple pictures, um, head photos. So there's that, and then two different style of art prints for Freddy Krueger, and then the Nosferatu movie prop. So that's that box. Um, I like it because I like the stuff in it, but I was expecting a little bit more in it for the price. Because I think it was actually close to 40 bucks. But I mean, normally for 40 bucks you would get the you get an autograph picture. So you did get more, you did get the stuff more of, of the value. License plates are usually about, let's see, I paid about 12 to 15 bucks each for uh, t a TV or movie plate, license plate prop. And the pens are usually about 12 bucks. Art prints, depending on the artist, I'm not sure. I would say this one's probably about, probably about 20. So, I mean, you did get the value, but I, like I said, in the older box, in the old boxes, when I first started this channel, and did the unboxings used to get a lot more and I wish they would have made their boxes bigger because they they bent the they were bending the license plate frame to stick it in the box but other than that I've I started subscribing back to them monthly for now so um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and I hope you enjoy the new layout for the opening and the closing of the videos now. So, I want you guys to have fun and see you next video. I'm not sure if it'll be here tomorrow or over the weekend, but if it is, it probably won't be done until Monday because I'm going to be out of town for the weekend. So, enjoy and have a good week.